Mark chapter 7 opens with a conflict over a Jewish tradition. As a group of religious leaders came to see Jesus, they noticed that some of his followers didn't wash their hands before eating. The ritual was that the Jews, especially the Pharisees, didn't eat until they had poured water over their cupped hands. They also didn't eat anything from the market until they immersed their hands in water. Then in verse 4, we see the Pharisees and the teachers of religious law asking Jesus, why don't your disciples follow our age-old traditions? They eat without first performing the hand-washing ceremony. And this was what Jesus said, you hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, for he wrote, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. You ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. So was Jesus saying that hand washing was not good or right? I don't think so. But what he was saying was some of the Jewish traditions were merely lip service, things done out of obligation. They made man's ideas equal to God's law diminishing the value of their worship. See, traditions can very quickly become legalistic and even contrary to biblical doctrine if we're not careful. So how do we keep traditions from going against the Word of God? We measure them by the Word of God. And when there's a conflict, well, the Word of God always wins. So by all means, enjoy the traditions of our faith but only the ones that align with our gold standard, God's holy word.